Max may have won Monza, but this weekend all eyes were on Williams. Welcome to Race Weekend Update for the 2022 Italian Formula One Grand Prix. My name is Stacey Hewen, and let's get right into it. Michael Massey's career was spinning in its grave today as the race finished under safety car. Since we aren't bending the rules just for spectacle anymore, the FIA have decided Max can have half a season of dominance as a treat. Fans were upset the race ended under safety car, but not because they thought Leclerc could win the race. It was primarily because everybody wanted to give Ferrari a chance to spectacularly fumble the race at the end, just like they would have under a green flag. Formula One is an international sport, the Brits claimed today as they forced everyone to observe a minute of silence for their dead monarch. Alex Albon's appendix pulled MVP this weekend, giving Nick DeVries the opportunity to race in Formula One for the first time. Scoring points on his debut, he proved to everybody what Alex Albon has been trying to show us this whole time. Williams' car isn't actually as bad as Latifi makes it seem. Nick DeVries won driver of the day today after scoring 9th place in a backmarker Williams. Not satisfied with this, he decided to win everyone's hearts after the race with this adorable anecdote. Safety car came out and I kind of relaxed. That's when it felt like my arms went in spasm. I just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't move them any, anymore. So uh, they are coming back slowly, but it feels, uh, feels like being a monkey. You know, they're hanging on my, on my little body. Max Verstappen was seen giving Nick DeVries a big hug after the race today. This confused Lewis Hamilton fans who are convinced that Max is incapable of positive emotion and healthy relationships. After the race, Red Bull's chief engineer was seen making adjustments to Max's emotional chip as there was concerns that such a display of affection could burn it out. Literally everyone was happy for Nick de Vries today, except of course for Nicholas Latifi who just watched the Dutchman hammer the final nail into the coffin of the Canadian's F1 career. Ferrari was looking really strong today with Leclerc qualifying on pole, making him the only driver to qualify in the same position he would be starting the race in. While many thought this was a good sign Ferrari could win the race today, that was not the case. It turns out Mattia Bonato is just really into orgasm denial and giving people hope before ripping it away is the only way he can achieve climax. Mr. Consistency was once again on the podium today, putting him just 7 points behind 3rd place Perez and only 16 points behind 2nd place Leclerc. Given that he is now 35 points ahead of his teammate Lewis Hamilton, you'd think that would be enough to earn him some praise from Toto Wolf. Unfortunately, Hamilton just pulled a 19th to 5th drive today, and Total Wolf's mouth was too full of Lewis Hamilton's cock for him to say anything positive about George. Mercedes customer teams McLaren and Aston Martin were a bit miffed today, as both Sebastian Vettel and Daniel Ricciardo experienced engine failures. These problems happened and could not have been avoided, Mercedes said, hoping that nobody would notice that neither of their own cars have had similar issues this season. Fernando Alonso bit his tongue today after telling his engineer that he was losing power and them responding that they saw nothing wrong. He responded with only, wow, which shocked fans across the world. Has he finally learned to be more polite on the radio, they asked? No, as it turns out, he's just preparing himself to deal with Aston Martin's bullshit, which will far exceed any shenanigans that Alpine could possibly dream up. Before we go over to the Canadian Positivity Guy, I wanted to let you know that here at Fiends, we're as close to that 1,000 subscribers milestone as Max is to the car in front of him whenever there's a safety car. So please subscribe so we can hit that milestone. And of course, the like button helps out a ton with the algorithm, so smash that like button like it's a wall and you're Latifi. Now for the Canadian summary of the Grand Prix. Well, you've heard the British guys enough, so why don't you listen to somebody else for a change? Cheering for Ferrari is like cheering for the Leafs. They can have the strongest lineup and still turn it into no results. It doesn't matter how much they hurt you, you continue to support them even as they burn you over and over again. I saw Charles on pole today and thought, no, don't do this, don't give me hope. And sure enough, right until the end, they were always close enough that something happening could turn it into a Ferrari win. But of course that never happens. On the other hand, Red Bull, like the Habs, can give you every reason to cheer for them and they're still somehow unappealing to support. Honestly, I think a lot of this boils down to the fan bases. Everybody teases Ferrari fans, but nobody hates them because they're always getting hurt by their own team. Further to that, they don't seem to be spewing the same kind of verbal diarrhea that Red Bull and Mercedes fans are constantly shitting out of their mouths. I personally don't support any one team. I love the whole sport and my feeling towards individual drivers and teams can evolve. And I can find myself cheering for almost anyone at any point in time, but this whole toxic fandom shit needs to end. It doesn't matter what color sweater you're wearing, when we're in the barn we're all fans of the same sport, so we need to just shut the fuck up about who we hate and focus on talking about who we love. Look in the comment sections of these videos. Whenever Max or Lewis comes up, 
There's so much chin wagging in the comment section, it's honestly embarrassing. But whenever it's Charles, Carlos, Lando, or even Alonzo that comes up, it seems like the beaking stops and we can actually have a civil discussion. The one lesson I want everyone to take away from this is don't support Ferrari or the Leafs. It doesn't matter how good or bad the fans are if the team sucks ass. The toxic fans aren't leaving you alone because they respect you. They're ignoring you because they don't see you as a threat. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. With that giant rant out of the way, we can now go over to the spicy meme of the week, which was made by me and posted to our Formula Dank with the title, A Rarer Feat Than Winning the WDC. This is the epic handshake meme with the text placing 21st in a 20 driver championship. And the two men shaking hands are labeled Latifi and Mazepin. I made this meme after DeVries scored points today because it pushes Latifi down to 21st place. Latifi has been unable to score points in a car that two other drivers have scored points in and honestly, even though he's Canadian and a lovely guy, it's just sad. Nick obviously deserves the seat more than Nicholas, and if you haven't already, you should check out the Nick DeVries anthem I made. It's a banger and reflects these sentiments. Well that was a fun one, thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please send it to a friend who might enjoy it, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and come back soon for more from us here at Fiends where the F1 never ends.